hello everyone. I'm Ling, a neurointerventionist at uh, Gangta SIS Chengdu Hospital. Uh, today I will present an interesting topic, mechanical thrombectomy for acute uh, top of basal artery occlusion. Uh, you know about 5% of acute ischemic stroke are caused by acute basal artery occlusion and it uh, is associated with um, severe neurological deficit and the mortality rate is about over 80% without treatment. And the type of basal symptoms typically occur with thromboembolic occlusion of distal dust or tip of basal artery. Acute of the top uh, of basal artery occlusion is rare in clinical practice and uh, poorly reported in literature. And it's very easy to miss if you don't consider. And the patient will have good outcome if you recognize, diagnose, and intervene immediately. About brain MRI show infection of uh, mesenchymic and uh, thalamus. A portion of temporal and occipital lobe uh, fit by BCA. Um, uh, about um, glycoside, uh, uh, glycoside include alteration of consciousness, uh, visual and ocular motor abnormalities. Uh, Turn back to me for acute uh, the top of basal artery is uh, very poorly in. Uh, Robotic in literature and a retrospective review of sitting cases um, for acute the top of basal artery will intervene as SIS hospital for two years. We found a terrible patient um, with moderate coma with glycoma scale uh, over a pound and for patient with severe coma. The mean is, um, is about uh, 18 uh, pounds. And uh, about motor dysfunction, uh, we had terrible with unclear, true patient with hemophilia and true patient with watcher pleasure. In the study, um, we had 14 patients with uh, aspiration and true patient with aspiration and stand uh, The rate of success uh, full intervention is uh, 100%. Uh, uh, percent with uh, 15 patients, uh, DC3, and one patient, DC2. The average intervention time was uh, about 30 minutes. And about the outcome, uh, we have uh, 14 patients with good outcome and two patients with bad outcome. Now I will show you three cases for uh, thrombectomy acute the top of basal artery. The first case, a 59-year woman with history of hypertension and a much one stenosis present to, uh, to the emergency department with certain one set of uh, vertigo and numbness at the right side. On examination, um, she had only vertigo and numbness at the right side, no motor dysfunction. Brain MRI show infection of the midbrain and uh, thalamus uh, at the left side. MRA show a uh, loss of uh, flow signal at the tip of basal artery. Um, we identify these were cases of uh, acute the top of basal artery, but the patient's symptom was, was mild. Uh, so the patient was treated with medical therapy and follow up, no intervention. 10 hours after a mission, the patient suddenly fell into a coma with Glasgow coma scale uh, 9 pounds and this was uh, 20 pounds. And the patient was candidate for emergency brain MRI. You can see the uh, second brain MRI um, show um, infection of um, migraine and uh, thymus. Um, on the left side, it seems to be uh, wider than the first uh, brain MRI. And uh, brain MRI show uh, 
um, <coughs> acute top of basal artery. Uh, so the basin was uh, indicated for emergency intervention. Uh, the DSA uh, showed thermos at the tip of basal artery, artery. and um, why can I not? Uh, we use a uh, Sophia uh, CF, uh, Sophia plus CF aspiration catheter to approach and aspirate uh, the thermos with a uh, micro Y and micro catheter. After, after direct aspiration first part, um, the top of basal artery was uh, um, complex uh, give vascular resistance and the patient um, was recovered completely uh, after nine days of treatment. Another, another case, uh, a 38 year old woman with um, resented to emergency department with um, uh, sudden uh, coma and uh, on examination she had um, uh, Severe coma with Glasgow coma scale, uh, seven pounds, and this uh, was 25 pounds. Uh, the brain MRI show uh, infection of um, midbrain, uh, bilateral thalamus, uh, version of uh, occipital and temporal, uh, temporal lobe. Um, MRI show a uh, loss of flow signal at the tip of basal artery. DSA show uh, the thrombus at the tip of basal artery. And we also use uh, Sophia plus CF aspiration catheter to uh, approach and aspirate the thrombus. Uh, after um, direct aspiration first part, the top of basal artery was uh, complete revascular resistance and the patient uh, was um, recovered completely after 10 days of treatment. The last case, a 78 year old man with history of hypertension uh, resented to emergency department with um, Mm, coma and uh, all examination. Uh, he has um, severe coma with Glasgow coma scale seven pounds, and uh, this score was uh, twenty five pounds. Um, he was uh, indicated um, CTA. You can see CT scan, uh, so not clearly the lesion, and CTA show. Um, uh, reduce uh, flow signal at the tip of basal artery and origin of prime vertebral artery. So um, after ex excluding uh, all the uh, possible cause of unconsciousness, uh, we uh, spread it to um, the top of basal symptom and uh, we indicate uh, brain MRI, emergency brain MRI. You can see a diffusion uh, weighted amazing uh, MRI show infection of uh, midbrain and uh, internal fat of um, bilateral uh, thalamus. So the basin was uh, indicated for emergency inter intervention. Uh, we assess and select into right vertebral artery and the origin of right vertebral artery is uh, severe stenosis, uh, so we perform anthroplasty. This is amazing after anthroplasty. And we advance so we plus uh, into P2 segment and uh, anthropathy. You can see the thrombus at the tip of basal artery. Um, you can see BCA.
And we also, also use uh, Solver plus ZigF aspiration catheter to uh, approach and aspirate the thermos. with our uh, micro catheter and micro wire. And, uh, and the top of the artery was uh, completely uh, revascular resistant. And the patient, um, will recover um, after 10 days of treatment with MGAN skin uh, one score. So uh, acute top of basal artery occlusion is uh, clinically quite severe. Um, the patient will have good outcome if you recognize, diagnose, and intervene immediately. And thermectomy is a simple, safe, and high successful technique. Thank you. <laughs>